Hi, I'm George Bellamy. I am the Cybersecurity Analyst at Samara. Now here's a question for you. What do you think is the attack that dental practice are most vulnerable to? I'll answer it for you. So what it is, is dental practices have so much information stored on their computers. You know, we, you have hundreds of, of patients, data stored on your computer. Not only is it their name, their phone number, their email address, their address, all that, you also have their medical information, their national insurance number. All of this is a gold mine for a potential hacker. So what kind of attacks does this hacker do to, to steal this data? Well, there's a couple of ways they do it. One is by actually being on site and hacking into the computer. And by hacking in, I mean, for example, you haven't actually locked the computer at night. That's one way. Another way is by attacking their get your guest Wi-Fi. Or another way is by using a phishing email. Now, you're probably asking, what is a phishing email? Well, a phishing email is an email that looks completely real. It might be from Microsoft saying, your account needs updating, please click here. So you think, and it's actually from Microsoft, you click here. What happens is it takes you to a random web page, but that web page downloads a malicious file, which steals your information and sends it to the hacker. It's really that easy. Now, what are the ways you can prevent these, these potential attacks? Well, easiest way to, to do them is through an antivirus. But that obviously antiviruses cost money and I'm not suggesting you shouldn't have an antivirus, but the number one way you can prevent these attacks is by knowledge, it's using your brain. And I mean like, you know, learning what a phishing email is, you know? I mean, what is a phishing email? A phishing email is literally an email, as I said, that looks completely real. But you need to understand to look out for how they work and what to look out for to ensure you are safe and you don't click on these links. Now, another way you can prevent these attacks is by securing your network. And what do I mean by that? Well, well as I said, you can use your, they, a hacker can use your guest Wi-Fi to get a hold of all the information on your network. Now, a guest Wi-Fi should be purely that, for guests. So you want to isolate it from your network, from your LAN, your local area network. And using something called VLANs, which is a virtual local area network, you can completely isolate your network, your computers for your dental practice, as well as your guests. Your guests can connect to the internet to you know, browse the web whilst they're waiting for their appointment, whilst you are secure in your own local area network. Now, if you have any questions on how to stay secure and how we can potentially help you stay secure, please contact us on samara.co.uk and we'll be glad to help. Thank you.